What's going on, everybody? It's Rev. Welcome back to the channel. We are on the Thunderwatch Island. We are on the hunt for Nezaga, and we're going to just kind of play it. We're going to be on the lookout for any treasure chests. I hear one. I hear... I hear... I hear things. Yes, there it is. Combat merits, that's what we want. I think there's one behind here, too. Wait. I hear one. I hear something. Is it above me? It is above me. Got him. That's a Nezaga right away. Let's go. Slide at me. We're nuts. We still know. We still know a trick or two. AO here, hopefully. Boom. Boom. Let's see if we can get at least one more laser off. Oh, and that boy is burning. Crispy Nezaga. It's the, the fire variant. <laughs> the fire variant of Nezaga. Crispy Nezaga. Toasty boy. Alcohol punch. Oh, no. Laser beams? Gonna get away because it's gonna do that thing. The little shocky boys getting its quills out. Roll that. Oh no, the orb. Orb of destruction. I am going down a lot. But it is okay. I've been I've noticed I've been really bad at managing my uh my striker buffs. I'm a lot worse at that. Now. I was never perfect at Aether Strikers, but I'm getting scooped. Hey, we did it. Not bad for a first solo. A little, you know, mildly underleveled. No overpower. No huge power scores. All right. Not 100% satisfied with the result, but we did it regardless. Going to heal up a little bit. And it's on to the next one. We need Karabak and one more Nezaga, but I'm going to see what else is around here. It looks like a Shrike is here, so we'll go ahead and fight that. Ooh, barely got him. Nice. And the Swarm. The attack speed. Goat. Okay, it's going to go up in the air. I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to shoot it in the... whatever location that was. I think it was the Tail Feathers. Another one? Oh. It's doing a swoop, maybe? Nope, oh, no swoop. You know, it's kind of interesting because in this particular playthrough, uh, you know, a Charog weapon is typically not something that people would pick up. Like, if, if you've been playing the game for a long time, you're not really too wild about Charog. But as a new player, you kind of want to use them just because they have a lot of extra power like a lot of the early weapons only have 20 power and uh this this weapon has 40 and the unique effect also deals a little bit of damage it's not crazy amounts of damage but it's still decent and uh for this particular island i think there's actually a uh i'll take that trade I think there's actually uh, a fire Nasher. And so there's kind of like a bad matchup there, but I just won't fight it if I run into it. I think that would be... Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'd be worth the time, but it's hard to say. I'm already noticing the difference between the, uh, the mod that I picked up on the Aether Strikers as well. And the fire proc is doing damage too. It's doing that damage that I know uh, I could have been doing with, like, Overpower and stuff, right? Um, and other very strong cells. Uh, try and get this leg break, maybe. I uh, broke the tail. Uh, let's try and get the leg again. Nope, didn't get it, but that's alright. We got a few breaks, and that's... All you can really ask for. This one, maybe there's another Nezaga over here. Uh, but I'm thinking it's probably not. 
that was a good joke, Revy. Too bad it's a Nazaga right here. Ya nerd. Okay, don't get hit by that. And then it does its slide. Tempest form. Big punch move. Big laser beam. Oh, it... I was not expecting this. I need to work on positioning the, uh, the, the unique effect a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be inter- Okay, it is interruptible in time. I'm still kind of inter- Like, I, I notice that some interrupt windows I just can't really land as well as I used to. I usually trade now. Uh, so that's kind of- Disappointing and interesting and that did a ton of damage. Maybe I'm just wasn't watching my health, but I felt like that did a ton of damage. Let's get this laser beam out there. Barely punch that back in time. Dodge this lightning. I really need my attack speed back. No Tempest Swarm is no bueno. Oh, it's leashing. No, come back. Come back. I need you. Nezaka wanted me to get my steps in. My Slayer Fitbit was popping off the charts. Should be about a three quarters dead here pretty soon. Yep, there it is. Big laser beam and then maybe another one for good measure, you know. Yep, give me that rage under damage. Okay, we're good there. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit. I did get hit. <laughs> dead? Yeah, dead. Sit down. Uh, 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 uh. All right, that's the two Nezagas. Let's go ahead and check our bounties. We got two of them done. Heck yeah. Let's see. What else can we do? We haven't gotten any Aether Striker ones yet. If you have to axe, slay three behemoths while they're enraged. I guess we'll just do if you have to axe. Which one is this? High alert. Yeah, we can stick around for a high alert. Maybe I'll uh, I'll do one of these, right? We'll do a supply crate, do the high alert, and then we'll go back and kill Karabak. Oh, there's a chest over here. Nice. Drop the crate. Double loot boxes. Big Nezaga. This is a shock jaw Nezaga. Oh my god. All right. It's coming at me again. I knew we were going to trade there. Like, I just had, I sensed it in my big toe that we were going to trade there. And so I uh, tried to pop a heal beforehand. But then again, that heal could have been the reason that we traded. I thought maybe using that laser beam was gonna throw me off the edge and I would have been upset. Got some decent cleave there. And Fire another laser and get my buffs back now. Oh no, the spacing. I was uh, a little bit too far away. Yeah. One thing I really like about the Aether Strikers is that you can use the Surge as kind of like a way to pass through the Behemoth and just not really have to worry about attacks at all. Uh, the mobility of the weapon is just very fun to, to play and experiment with. That was interesting. That orb used to pass through the Nezaga, I remember that. I was concerned. Get my buff back. Get that attack speed, very important. It's about halfway dead. I need to keep this up for a while, actually. I think we're doing relatively decent, though. I think we've only gone down once. It, it is like two hits and I'm done, though. Two hits and I am done. So I got to watch out for these orbs. Ooh, that was a lucky break. Nice. 
Oh, don't hit me. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if my mic picked up how hard I was mashing on my space bar there, but I tell you what, I was mashing very hard. I was playing, <laughs> I was playing Tekken on my, on my keyboard, I tell you what. Almost there, we're so close. Didn't want to deal with that orb. Oh. Oh, traded. Got the interrupt though, hopefully it dies here. Let's go, high alert down. Sit down. All right, let's go. That was a good way to end it. Let's see what we get out of the, uh, we got an uncommon cell core. So we're, we're not going home empty handed. We're going to have a little bit of, uh, of a present back home. Hopefully we get some nice cells. I'm really looking for overpower. Really looking for overpower. Uh, we'll go ahead and head to fortune's folly. We need to kill a care back really quick. Care back's a quick kill. Um, it's really speedy, but it has really low HP, so we should be fine. As much as I feel like I should probably fight this behemoth, I'm going to opt to not and just go look for the Karabak. Sometimes it's just more time efficient. Oh, there's a treasure chest, though. That is also very time efficient. It's nice that gliding actually picks up the Charog unique effect, so you can actually get it pretty quickly. Is there even a Karabak on this map right now? Please tell me there is. There it is. That would have been unfortunate. All right, level 10 behemoth shouldn't be a problem. Boom. Punch you in the face, get the break, nice. I think it, oh yeah, the bugs still, the bugs are still the bugs. They will block your projectiles if you have projectile attack. Let's see if I can get the, uh, the interrupt attack to come out. Yep, nice. I still remember things about this game. It's always really hard to get the third combo up on Karabak. I don't really like Karabak with Aether Strikers, but we're making do. We can get the KO here as well for a slight stun lock. Yep, there we go. Had to use a little bit of a finagle there. Use the two combo, get my attack speed back. Yeah, it's, th it's this combo that's really hard to get the the heavy attack combo. The one That one's the hard one to get the attacks off on. Because you end up moving too far forward like that. Or like it moves around a lot and then it's just a struggle. But still relatively simple fight. As long as you can keep getting those part breaks. You get a huge opening when you break apart on Karabak, so... As long as you're breaking parts, you're winning the game. Let's see, Ramsgate and call an airship and we'll just turn in what we got. We finished a quest and you know what that means. It means we're heading back to Dr. Priyani to turn it in. Feel like I'm running back quite frequently. Go visit Dr. Priyani. Pick this up because I need to finish the pass. Grounded current, more merits and good stuff. I wonder if I got enough merits to do the uh, the power upgrade on my Aether Strikers. Let's find out. It looks like we did. Nice. I will take any amount of damage that we can get at this point. What do we need here? 300 exploration merits. Two loadout slots. That's good. More potions. What is this? Unlock escalations normal. Ooh. You've unlocked normal escalation mode in the hunt menu. In this four-player mode, set out to clear an etherically charged island chain of behemoths. Escalation hunts feature unusual behemoth variants, relentlessly challenging combat, and escalation XP that you can spend to improve talent points and abilities. Later in the Slayer's Path, you can unlock hard escalation mode, where you will face keystone behemoths with legendary power. So we got a little bit more of a grind to go. Let's go ahead and unlock Dread Cells 
and the middleman and we'll maybe see if we got anything new uh to craft from the middleman because i haven't used that particular mechanic or feature in a while so let's open up all our cores first because we're gonna need them hopefully we get something good zeal swift sharpened insulated iceborne cascade what is cascade on lantern hold randomly generate four of the following boosts healing stamina power power boost duration increase chance to generate invincibility boost that's at plus six but i only have generate one random power boost healing stamina or power you know I'm going to leave this on. We're going to experiment with it. I think it's what I'm thinking of. Uh, I've actually run into a player in this playthrough with that particular cell, so hopefully it's good. So we're back in Thunderwatch because I need to kill more Nezagas because even though we killed three, I still was not able to craft up one of their weapons. It has higher power than the draft stuff, so I want to try and get a better shock weapon just so I can have that pair of aether strikers in my arsenal uh i do not have the yellow buff up for the aether strikers go do that do this thing do all three combos again pick up this see what it does fire a laser get be very lucky that we didn't get hit there Lamb. Huh. I'm feeling a little bit stronger though, just because of the uh, the handful of aether aether striker power that we picked up, and now that we're a higher level, a level nine. Oh no. Oh, and it dies immediately? Come on, man. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Killed one Nezaga, another responds. And I'm totally okay with it. We'll do one more. And then we'll see if we can mosey on out of here. Dang it. At least this particular island is good for doing exactly what I wanted to do, which is farm a Nezaga weapon. So there is that. Oh, don't get hit by the big one. It's fine. Fire the laser. Fire everything. Dang, that was instantaneous. Got the interrupt that time. Don't want to trigger the knockdown, which I just did, which is unfortunate. Never mind. Don't worry about it. All right. We got him. Another Nezaga down. That was close. All right. What else can we do here? I don't think it's going to dive at me, which is going to be really annoying. And now I have to run the whole way and I lose my buffs. All right. Tempest form. Punch the tail feathers. Dive at me. Dang it. Dang it, Shrike. <sighs> Why are you so annoying? Oh my gosh. I wasn't ready for that. Ow. Okay, broke the tail. Nice. Get a little bit of damage here. One hundred percent stamina reduction costs. Interesting. Oh, I already broke the tail. Dang it! I went for the one thing that I knew uh, oh, that was available to me, and it was the one thing that was broken. You know, these trades are not killing me, so I can't really be mad about it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this before I go too far. Right in the face. 
Oh, barely got it. Let's go. Should be dead. Please die. I don't want to chase you around anymore. Uh. I missed. Wait, I got. <laughs> uh, I missed. I missed the space bar and I pressed M instead or whatever button that was to open the Slayer's path. I think it was N. I am a bot. I like fat fingered that button instead of the space bar. And I'm upset about it. Just die, just die, just die, just die. All right, yeah, yeah. No one, no one has to know that I went down. We will use the power of video editing. Another one down. And Dread Cells is complete. All right, let's go ahead. We'll unlock this. We'll unlock the new islands. Looks like I'm going to need a better frost weapon for that one. You know what I just thought about? And I was looking at some of the islands in the next area, and they have a bunch of fi uh, fire behemoths. And with those fire behemoths, I should probably get an upgraded ice weapon. And the Pangar weapon is probably still really strong. And so maybe Pangar Aether Strikers will be coming up in the future. I'll probably farm them offline. But yeah, just know if you're watching this and you're a new player, Pangar weapons are very strong. You should probably have one in your arsenal, regardless of what weapon you play. I think we're going to the middle man now because we unlocked him. And in the middle. Great. Great, great. Now the middleman is a way that you can turn the cells that you had uh, received from your hunts, like from these cores. Go ahead and open this last one that we got. Please give me overpower. I am upset. So one thing I'm gonna try and do is do a fusion with a few of my unwanted cells to get a random one. I'll just go ahead and speed these up too. So if you do like two in the same family, you'll be able to get like plus two rage isn't bad. Um, go ahead and fuse these two. I'm really looking for overpower. That's what I want. Plus two overpower would be amazing. Plus two rage hunter is also very good too. Um, that's actually awesome. So I think I have two plus two. Yeah, I have two plus two rage hunters right now. That's really good. I'm going to go ahead and combine these two. I'm going to keep the one Rage Hunter I have unless I get one more. This two Sharpened is rather garbage. So another cool thing that you can do with the Middleman is go in here and hit Exchange. And then if you go to My Cells, it will bring up your cell list. And you'll be able to turn the ones that you don't want into Aether Dust. And with the Aether Dust, you can buy the cells that you want here so there was a conduit cell here and then i went and sold a lot of my cells and turned them all in to a purple conduit cell and i put that in my lantern so now and i also did the same thing with the rage hunters that i combined because i had quite a few rage hunters and now i have five rage hunter and three conduit with some evasive fury conduit gives me some extra attack speed every time i fire that that lightning bolt from the lantern. And then we have Pulse. Pulse is a new one I've never heard of. And while it doesn't really seem that wild, I'm just using it to try it out. And then I can also throw in a defensive one here. Let's see, I'll just use Parasitic again. So we actually managed to do quite a bit today. We did the Dread Cells unlock, you know, we're all the way up here, we're up to 10,000. We need 20, uh, sorry, we need 2,500. Yeah, that's, I was right. We need 2,500 there for Slayer Science, and then we'll be able to continue on even further. 2,500 shouldn't be too bad. It's about the same that we did today. And then we also made the Nezaga weapon and upgraded our build a little bit here. So we have five Rage Hunter and three Conduit. That's always good. And two Evasive Fury, and everything else is kind of just whatever. But we managed to use the Middleman to turn our cells in the shop, and, or the cells that we didn't want into uh, a cell in the shop that we did want. And we managed to turn it into a purple one. Now, granted, if you don't have the currency that I had, you're probably not going to be able to do that. But, uh, you know, it's a playthrough and I don't want it to take way too long. So I used a little bit of extra currency there. And we'll go ahead and mosey on in the next episode when we take on... Let's see, what's this island called? It is called Brightwood and Conundrum Rocks. We need to kill Valamir. Valamir. 
Man. And then we're also going to get a Pangar weapon. Pangar weapons are really, really strong. And I want one. So catch you all then. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you are enjoying this, leave it a like. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.